Hey guys, it's Holly from The Run Experience. Today we're talking how to relax your shoulders when you run. Uh, this is a topic that really hits home for me and I have three awesome exercises for you. So I wanted to talk about relaxing the shoulders for running today because it's a problem I struggle with quite a bit in my own running. Um, sometimes there's just a lot of tension up here, especially when we are incorporating strength training and everything else into our training routine. Um, it's very easy for us to get everything tight up here and we get no sort of rotation or mobility through the upper body when we run. Um, so I've developed a few ways for you guys to kind of fight that and how we can bring that relaxation back here so we can get more out of our core and legs and everything else. So we're going to train today kind of two ends of the spectrum, getting that full range of mobility and then I'll teach you how to kind of bring it back for that optimal uh, arm swing. We're going to start with a little warm up you can throw into your routine whenever you want. I'd recommend at least maybe two to three times a week whenever you're warming up. Um, you're going to start with just some nice arm circles here. So you may have seen this in another video we've done, but uh, it's a great one. We love it. So you're going to start with small arm circles with the palms just straight ahead, keeping those ribs down, everything nice and tight, starting small, increasing that range of motion a little bit bigger until you're getting much bigger and then as big as you can go. I'd say spend about 20 to 30 seconds in this direction all the way through, shake those arms out. You'll reverse, um, going in the reverse direction, starting nice and small again, palms straight ahead, everything tight, getting a little bigger, and a little bigger, and then you'll have that full range of motion all the way through, nice big arm swings. Again, 20 to 30 seconds there. Uh, the second thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little bent over um, arm crossover. So you're gonna sit those hips back almost like you're gonna do a deadlift or something, slight bend of the knees, keeping everything nice and tight here. And you're gonna just do some nice open and closes, switching which arm crosses in front, trying to slap the back a little bit again, just loosening up the front of the chest and then the back as well. Again, about 20 to 30 seconds there. The final thing you're going to do for this warm-up is a little um, twist and swing, almost like a golf swing of sorts. Um, you're going to just basically use the legs to kind of increase that twist and drive, coming all the way up. As you get more comfortable, you can kind of look up and bring the head into it. Just getting some range of motion and rotation all the way through there. Um, again, about 30 seconds. You can start slow, just as you feel it out. Again, keeping that head down and then including the head and neck through the end. 30 seconds of each, that's plenty for a warm up. Throw it in as you need, you'll start to feel the blood flowing and everything and all this starts to get loose. Okay guys, so next we're gonna hit a drill for this arm swing and relaxing the shoulders and everything. Um, there's gonna be two parts to it. The first one's gonna bring some awareness to what your, or what your inclination is with your arm swing and your upper body. The second part is gonna show you what a full range of motion looks like and how we can dial that back in for your running. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just a seated um, running position basically. You're going to spend some time with your legs and uh, glutes and everything out of the equation. So I want you guys to sit down here. I'm going to have my legs extended as much as I can. If this is already uncomfortable for you because I want you guys to be nice and upright, feel free to put a weight plate or something under you. Um, that'll raise you up a little bit more so you can keep those legs extended in front. The last thing we want is <laughs> to practicing here. There's no good in that because you're not going to run like that. So keeping those legs nice and extended, I want you guys to just spend some time practicing what you think your arm swing is or what you intend for it to be without the legs. So just some time here, trying to get that full range of motion. We have some videos on this already, but you can even break it up. You can do one arm at a time, kind of see where that range of motion is. And the other arm, you can see my right shoulder is a lot tighter, so I tend to Anytime I go back, it feels like it's kind of yanking, but just spend some time down here. It's really just an awareness thing. Um, see how much you want to rotate or not rotate. If your shoulders feel super hiked up and you feel like everything is just wanting to go there, then you know this is definitely for you. You need to kind of focus on this aspect of it. So I would say spend maybe two minutes or so um, breaking it up, of course, and resting, but you want to just spend some time down there really getting into it and figuring out where your kinks are and where you tend to hold your tension. That's the first part of the drill. The second part, I'm gonna stand back up. You're basically gonna go opposite of that. You're gonna find the biggest, widest rotation your torso can give you while doing some high skips, which I would call an exaggerated version of running. That nice uh, high hip position, and then you're also jumping a little hop there as well. Meanwhile, your torso is gonna be twisting and opening all the way, basically the total opposite 
of your tighter running position, but it's gonna allow you to see the opposite end of that spectrum. So I'm gonna do some embarrassing skip passes for you guys so you can see what I'm talking about. The whole time I want you to think about relaxing the shoulders and using that momentum to just free up what's going on. So just a few passes here, twisting to the opposite side. Feel like you're five again. <laughs> Trying to twist from the hips and the torso. And one more pass. <laughs> it's hard to skip and not smile or laugh at yourself. <laughs> um, the point of this is to show you, do you have that rotation from this, uh, from the core and the waist? Can you split those two in half, your upper body from your lower? Or do you tend to twist your whole body open and everything kind of moves as one unit, which will let you know something's tight or something's tight down here. So practice this. I would say, um, I don't know, maybe like five to six passes, like 10 meters, just practicing. You can kind of throw this in. You can even throw this in mid run if it's a short one. Um, this alternated with the seating position will really just bring awareness to your shoulders, show you how you can relax them. And uh, that'll be awesome for your running. The final piece I'll show you in a second will be a mobility piece. Okay guys, so the last piece of this puzzle is simply opening up everything going on back here. Sometimes the reality is you're just super tight and maybe you've done a lot of upper body strength work that, that week or something and it's just all building up in your traps which again makes for a locked running position. Uh, so we're just going to work with a lacrosse ball today. We have this fun run experience lacrosse ball which is cool um, and I'm going to show you how to open up those shoulders two minutes per side after your workout, after your drill, whatever it is, uh, is plenty for this. So I'm going to lay down on my back and I'm going to position this just above the shoulder blade to start. So kind of finding that, that meaty part right here where it's probably the tightest you can feel with your fingers back there. And I'm going to place it right under, get my hair out of the way. And you're going to start as much as you can relaxing the weight on there. And you're going to start with just some simple forward and back arm movements. So you're going to keep that palm just facing in towards you trying to get all the way back and all the way forward. I'd spend about a minute here working through that, you know, as fast or as slow as you want to go, but really grinding in there. And then you're going to follow up with a little snow angel motion. So you're going to try to rotate all the way out, get through those grindy spots, coming all the way back down, all the way out, and coming back down. I want you to spend about a minute on the straight ones and a minute on the snow angels. So place this ball at different spots as you need. Um, if, you wanna, if you wanna spend a minute on each one and then move it and spend a minute on each one, by all means go for it. Um, other places you can put it are closer to the spine but still staying up there near the shoulder or just basically getting right on the trap there. Sometimes against the wall is a little bit easier to access um, in terms of adjusting the weight but laying down is good as well. So get those <laughs> rotations in, a little guess today. <laughs> get those uh, forward and back motions in, those rotations immediately afterwards remove the ball and then try a few without it and you'll see already everything's super open and feels nice and relaxed and then if you have the time try a few passes running with your arm swing just see if you've noticed a difference does every, everything feel more relaxed can you put a little bit more work into the core and legs and the feet uh, than holding it all up here where it's not doing anyone any good so try these three exercises let us know how you like them uh, and yeah we'll see you in the next video <laughs> guys if you want more ways to train your running and your mobility and to en enhance that injury prevention in your training routine we have a two-week quick start program for you two free weeks of workouts uh, injury prevention mobility uh, stretches some strength workouts all this good stuff for you uh, all you have to do is put your name and email at the um, in the link at the end of this video or down in the description and we will send those workouts to you if you liked this video, make sure you hit that like button down at the bottom. Any questions or comments, something didn't make sense, or you have a request for a future video, drop it in the comments below. And lastly, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Uh, we have new videos coming out all the time. We want you guys to see them, and we want you to know right away when they do. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. That is all I have for you guys today. I will catch you in the next video.